players are in the tunnel just about to come out, so it's a perfect opportunity to go through the lineups this afternoon, starting with the home side. Three changes for Slough this afternoon. Uh, number one is Charlie Horlock, then Josh Jackman, Alexis Beedon, Dan Bayliss, Gary Abisoga, John Gilbert, Leon Chambers, Perillo, Scott Davis, Henry Ochieng, Kweku Lucan, and David Ogbonne make up the starting 11 today for the Rebels with Louis Lomas, John Ufer, Dan Roth, Sam Evans, and Jack Timberlake, the five substitutes this afternoon for Slough. For our visitors today, we have Craig King, Teddy Howe, Dan Wishart, Kyle Ajayi, Ben Tompkins, Chris Smith, birthday boy George Williams, Kieran Wiltshire, Ricardo German, Alfie Sorelli, and David Tom Jordan Esprit. On the bench today for the Tudors will be Connor Curran Brown, Bailey Brown, Jack Davis, Kite Innocent, and Sydney Ivey. So the three changes this afternoon for the Rebels will be John Mal Prosper, John Ufer, and Louis Lomas, all departing out of the side in favour of Gary Everson and John Gilbert and player manager Scott Davis. Just looking down the line, Jack just giving us bit some close attention. Beedon gets a foot in. And we'll do recover the ball through George Williams. <laughs> Plays it back, but it's a poor touch. Abisogan then is allowed to play the ball down the line towards Rana Luke, who will beat Kyle Jai for pace. Puts a low ball into the middle, but there's no one else to keep up with the pace. He rebels forward, and Hemel are allowed to clear. Jai there just with a long ball down that right channel. Eden does well to challenge this but the ball falls to Ricardo Jai, just coming inside into the middle. Plays the ball right away across the face of Oaks, really. Low drive flashes across goal just wide of Horlock's right hand post. But a very quick counter attack there, finding Cerulean a lot of space over on that right side for Hemel. Just allowed him to have a time to take a touch and a good low drive across goal. Fortunately for the Rebels, the wrong side of the post. It's not doing well here, just to hold Hemel back in their own third for now. Long ball forward from Craig King. Responded to by Davis. A bit of a loose touch there, and Abasogan's played through. John Gilbert, he has space in front of him to shoot. Can he get it round the goalkeeper? He can, but it's wide of the keeper's post there. Good little break for Slough. Yeah, I think that's good recovery in there from Teddy Howe, just being able to uh, come back and really gain ground just to put the pressure on the Rebels attacking midfielder. Notice there, that's Ricardo Germain there, just tr trying to back into. Ball at the goalkeeper, it's missed by Davis. There's a scramble in the middle of the six yard box. Exchanges of possession between both sets of players there, and eventually Davis does manage to just knock it against Alfie Cerulli out for a slough throw in, but that was a bit of a nervous moment there. He's trying to find some space, delivers a ball in with his right foot, but headed away by Jay. Only towards the edge of the area though. Second attempt by German, then it's cleared away. And slough. We'll look to uh, block any sort of counter-attack through Davis with a long high ball out to the left, which Ogbonna does well to recover on the second attempt. Back in now to Gilbert, just exchanging passes there. Gets the ball to Chambers Perillon. Moves it across then centrally to Gilbert. And then Chapman strikes. The ball falls to Kweku Lucan in the area with a volley on the turn, but wide of Craig King's left-hand post. It's now a loose ball, which is going to be claimed by Oh, Chiang does really well to keep that in play. It's now with Abisogan, Abisogan sorry, again. Been allowed to run here, Abisogan, and unleashes a left-footed strike towards that right top-hand corner of Craig King's goal. It's a good effort from the, uh, the Slough forward there. So Davis now just uh, getting ready to uh, outswing this one. Gilbert making a near-post run. It's delivered across into the box, probably a little bit too flat, and Hemel do get the ball away into Ricardo German, plays the ball out to the left-hand side, but it's too far in front there of George Williams. It's gone out for a throw. Davis takes it quickly, looking for Abisogan, headed away, but Gilbert recovers, heads back into the feet of Lucan. Abisogan then picks that ball up, plays a good ball into the middle. The Abisogan, oh. David Ogbonna rather, was running through in on that left-hand channel, but a low drive is well saved by Craig King, and Hemel now look to break away through George Williams, plays the ball long down the line, looking for Ricardo German, has done well to feed off Lexus Bede, and then a really tame effort there, straight into Charlie Horlock. And the Tudors really should have done better there with that attempt. And it's been a long diagonal ball from right to left, looking towards the head of Esprit, but Beden does well to get the head away. Falls to the feet of Innocent down the left back position, under pressure from it. 
Jamman ball goes in and across. Pollock though does well, just shuffle his feet and playing towards the back post. Just drops it in front of Bayliss, who's able to stride forward down the left back position. German does well to come across, but a delicious ball from Bayliss just to find Abbas Hogan down the right hand side. Finds a bit of space and puts a low drive in that Craig King does very well just to dive down to his right hand side. And a big pour away there from the Tudors keeper, pushes that ball outside of the post. Chapman though looking to take the throw in. He throws it over the head of a spree to the feet of Davis. Davis under pressure, turns away well and plays the ball out to the left hand side to O'Bonner. Bonner under pressure immediately from Teddy Howe, goes back to Wachin. Wachin plays a long ball forwards. Gilbert does well just to get in front of Smith, might not. To get, gets on the end of the rebound and plays a low ball in towards the near post, which King does well to navigate the post. Gilbert stood over this free kick though. It's a high one in towards the back post. Chambers brilliant underneath it, but over his head, and King is able to collect. And again, looks to deliver the ball quickly out of his hand. Gilbert being one of the further ones back there, does fall back to Cerulli, who plays the ball out left. It's a promising position for the home side, the away side. But Gilbert does his defensive duties well. Yeah, there's a bit of a, a bit of guess there at whether that was a corner or not. It looked actually like it had come back off forward there that was trying to get the ball across. Uh, the referee has given the, the set piece to Hemel. Yeah, Gilbert just stepping out and just putting his foot across it just to get that initial block in. There will be a Hemel corner. From the far side on there, attacking left. I think it's Williams that will be looking to swing this one in. The high ball in towards the centre. Header from, header from a okay. giant there. Low and across the face of goal into Horlock's bottom left corner. And it breaks the deadlock here at Arbor Park. 62nd minute. But it sees the table toppers taking the lead at Arbor Park. And once again, not for the first time this season, Slough Town find themselves behind their home. Slough will be hopeful that they can actually get a firm contact on one of these set piece deliveries. Takes it relatively quickly. Bailey's just underneath it at the near post. Yeah, that's gone out on the far side of the goal. For just over 15 minutes left for the Rebels to get back into the game here. Currently finding themselves a goal behind. Not an unfamiliar position for them this season at Arbor Park. Yep, still. Church, Chelmsford obviously haven't been also in that position. Still plenty of time. Thank you. 